Hello Milky fans, it's Milk Stool here. I hope you are well. This is a video about my branching strategy, which is related to my video about fusions. I believe fusions and branching or hero replacement, they are hand in hand activities. If you haven't had the time to check out my fusion video, I do encourage you to watch that first and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But effectively to quickly summarize, I believe you should use hero replacement or branches to progress in fusing heroes to eight or nine star. I don't believe you should use the branches to find top tier heroes as many people do it. And as you see from many YouTube stars out there, I think that is a very, very poor use of branches. If while you're replacing for heroes and a god tier hero comes, I think then that's a bonus. But outside of that, you shouldn't really use branches to look for copies of heroes. Now, guys, having said that, I know a lot of you, when I make the comment that it's hard to come by food or it's harder to get food than it is to get copies. I know for some of you, that's the reverse of the situation. I totally get that. But for longer term players or players who are more focused and concentrating on, on a, a set of heroes to build up to form either a, a GVE, a rainbow or some other aura type team, and you already have enough copies, I wouldn't waste any more branches looking for copies if you already have all the copies you need. I know that sort of kind of seems to make sense, but just in case you're an autopilot and uh, you sort of just use branches to, to look for top tier heroes or god tier heroes because that's what everyone else does, just don't. At some point when you have enough copies, start using branches to look well, to, to, to get the food type that you need to progress heroes to eight or nine stars that you're gonna then feed off into much stronger heroes. And I'll give you a good example of, of what I mean by when I say that. So, I'm in a situation in my Fortress Faction now where I've identified Emily as being a contender to go to nine, 10 stars. Probably 10 stars because she's seven stars right now and I have enough copies to get her to 10 stars. I only need three more to get to 10 stars, meaning one copy there I can use for food. But obviously at seven stars, the situation is I need two six stars to progress her to nine star. So if I look at what I have here in terms of food in the fortress, I have the honor guard who's at six stars, but then I don't really have anyone else that I can use or where I have two copies of besides Valentino or Ormus, who I don't really want to use as food to progress Emily uh, along further. I basically need uh, another six star hero. And from what I can tell, I believe the best contender is I can either turn one of the photos say and i'll probably use an emily to search for the hero i need to either get an ice blink or Carsten or a mickey and how i'm going to decide who i'll eventually end up on will depend on if i go here Carsten, i have the red-headed boy so i need one Carsten copy to get him to six star if i look at mickey I have the man in the fancy blue hat. So I need just a Mickey copy to get him to six stars. And then if I look at Ice Blink, I also have Carsten there, meaning I need just an Ice Blink copy to get him to six star. So there's three individuals there where I have the right, I guess third hero, I'm gonna call her, the third wheel to get him to six star. So I can either six star, Ice Blink, Carsten, or Mickey. So right now, if I go to hero placement, I just need to look for one of those three heroes. So going into fortress. So I can't use Carsten. I can't use the boy with the spiky red hair. I can't use the dude in the blue hat. I can use Honor Guard or nope, Storm Stormharder, his little brother. Or I can use one of the Mickey, not the Mickeys. The brown haired lady, whose name I forget. I don't actually know all the heroes' names, so I do apologize for that. Or I can use an Emily. I have a stack of Emily copies, I probably use Emily. So, now we start replacing, looking for the hero that we need. 
Don't need a Sierra. Carsten, there we go. Straight away, Carsten. Saved a whole bunch of branches. Didn't get any God, God tier heroes, but I wasn't after a God tier hero. I was looking for the right food. The last jigsaw piece to fit into the, to the puzzle to, to nine star my Emily. So there we go, Carsten. I can then not worry about you, you, or you. Boom. Six star Carsten. Meaning I can now go to Emily, wherever she is. Here we go. Three copies. One, two. I don't need enormous. I'll use enormous. <laughs> For the purpose of this video demonstration, I will sacrifice enormous. There we go. She got to eight star. And for nine star. I need two copies. And this is where I've run out of copies. Huh, poor planning. But guys, <laughs> you get the idea in terms of what I mean when I say you should use branch, branches more strategically to look for heroes that you need to progress food to nine or 10 star rather than orbing for copies, especially if you have all the copies that you need. I think uh, the chances of orbing and getting uh, a god tier hero are so low that it's just a waste of branches in, 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 my, in my honest opinion. Unless you're very early on in the game and you're genuinely looking for copies. That's the only exception I might make, but that's my approach to branching and, and hero placement. And I hope you found that perspective useful. Thanks for watching.